over here on this arbor, I guess they're called, I've got passion vine. And I think there are several different varieties of passion vine that attract the fritillary butterfly, but not all of them. But not all of them, because I bought some that did not attract. Judging by the holes in the leaves of the passion vine, it certainly looks like the caterpillars have been getting to it. So let's see if we can find any. There's a little one right there. Well, that one is easy to see. There is another one here. Oh, look, here's a very, very, very small one. Oh, yeah, there it is. He's, he's kind of wrapped around. Well, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, there he is. Just as big as Dallas. Yeah. So there's three of them within six inches of one another. And overhead here, where the vine grows up onto the arbor and, and drips down, there's that one right there. So these are caterpillars for the fritillary butterfly. The orange ones sometimes look like a monarch except for they're noticeably smaller and um, have the general coloration but also the, the, there are differences. So that's how things look on this day in our uh, in this little garden area which is kind of a combination of a bunch of different stuff. One of the things that I've tried to do here is con some, concentrate some butterfly host plants over here so that uh, this is the master bedroom in this corner and so that we get some butterflies that kind of congregate in this area and the most success has probably been with the sulfur butterfly and the second most successful has been the fritillary butterfly and then the monarchs Last year I had two passion vines, but one died, and I didn't get around to replacing it. So this year I only had one vine, and even it, as you saw, was pretty scraggly. And yet I still had some success in having fertilary butterflies congregate around that area. So I would suggest two vines, and if you have the room and want even more success, plant four. Another tip would be to plant them outside one of your windows so that you can sit inside and watch and enjoy from one of your favorite chairs. Reporting live from Fullerton, California, happy gardening.